This is our Abu Dhabi food tour. Let there be meat. And we're doing this one after sunset because it's only 99 degrees and not 112 degrees. Despite the heat, we only tried one cold dish. Mm. And that's because the hot food was so good. As adults should, we ate dessert first. Oh my god. We also fell in love with their pillowy bread, dipping it in everything. Oh my gosh. We savored a traditional sandwich with a spicy twist. My mouth is on fire. And then we found chicken shawarma. This is all we're eating the rest of the time we're here. Last but not least, you cannot visit the UAE without trying some of their famous teas. So this car, this is our secret weapon because it's really hot and standing out here for a mere few moments, I'm already sweating. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. so good. Is it too hot to chew? Mm -hmm. That's one of the things we're getting. Oh, cool. Wow, look at how he does that, like uh, in a like... circle. Shukran Laka? Is that okay? <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Can we get the uh, mango banana plastic? Yeah. All right, we got our first two items. Both of them are really like takeaway restaurants. There's literally nowhere to sit. People are like waiting in their cars right outside. So we're going to our car and I'm starving and I'm hot and I'm thirsty and I might need to change my clothes. Okay, we got Lassie from the Lassie Shop. This is a chain restaurant. Since the United Arab Emirates is a melting pot of cultures, there's a ton of different cultures here, a ton of different cuisines. And Lassie is Indian and I thought it was a drink, but we only got spoons. But we got the mango banana one because that sounds refreshing. So it's like a yogurt drink made with fresh banana and like mango juice or something. Mmm, mmm. There's nuts on the top of this and they're delicious. Nice and roasted and salted. Oh, there's whole banana in it. But it's super liquidy. Like I feel like I could drink it. Oh, that's good. This is the rigag. It's like a super thin crepe almost, but it's almost crispy and it's like really 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 thin it's made with wheat flour and it's filled with whatever you want nutella cheese honey dates we got cheese and honey and it's like craft liquid cheese mm. oh my god this tastes like a cheesy jalapeno popper without the jalapeno you know how it's like breaded and you get that really melty cheese inside it's kind of salty a little like cheesy sweet like this is delicious these meals are so much better than i was expecting this is the ligamat this is the most popular emirati dessert it's fried dough and inside of this one is cheese honey. It is surrounded or doused in date syrup and in this case, sesame seeds. Oh, good. Yeah, somehow that's a small. There's like a hundred in there. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. The outside, very crunchy, and then the cheese just oozes out with complete perfection and just like mixes with that date syrup for the most delicious tasting dessert I've had in a very long time. It's the first place we've been to so far today that actually has like seating. I want one of everything on this menu. It looks so good. What do you recommend? Uh, What's the best one? Uh, this one, Al Kithyar uh, food, okay? Okay, perfect. Can one? we, yeah, can we get one of those? Chicken. And then we'll just do the regular chicken with or beef? chicken. Please. Chicken? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that looks so good. <gasps> I'm not gonna lie, this is my second time eating pool today. <laughs> I love pool. Our friend has them made, homemade pool for us when we stayed with him in Egypt. And I have honestly been craving it ever since. And we haven't had it until we got back here. It's just like beany deliciousness. Also, look at this bread. So fluffy. I know, but it's just air. It's like a pita pocket. They just made this. Oh my gosh. Look at that texture on the inside. It's like so fluffy, but like super thin. It's called fool, F-O-U-L, not foul. 
because it's not foul at all. It's absolutely delicious. It's bean, it's made with fava beans, and it kind of looks like uh, refried beans, but it doesn't taste like it at all. But this has white onions, tomato, olive oil, some sort of like pepper sauce, makes it a little bit spicy. You can just see like the olive oil separating. It's just doused in olive oil. It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I got chicken shawarma. It's this beautiful chicken. Looks like French fries as well as a pickle and like a yogurt based sauce. Oh my God. Yeah. The yogurt is like a garlic yogurt. And the chicken has like a really crispy outside because it's like rotating and getting like perfectly charred, but it has like a nice like spice on it too. Not spicy, but just like kind of peppery. Oh my God, this is so, this is all we're eating the rest of the time we're here. And the pickles have this like delicious and amazing crunch. And like the bread is just so like fluffy, very, very fresh. It's perfectly baked. I love that so many cultures have come to the realization that if you put layers of meat on like a rotating thing and like fire it, it's delicious. This is like El Pastor tacos in Mexico. And then you put it in some sort of bread with some vegetables and it is like, wow. It's so good. We might get another one. There you go, that's complimentary falafel for you. Oh, wow, thank you so much. That's so nice. They were so nice here. They saw us filming, so they brought us over a little tray of falafel. And it smells really like nutty and delicious. I love the crunch. So this is super fried and crispy on the outside and it's nice and fluffy on the inside, but it's a mixture of chickpeas, onions, pine nuts, and it's served with this tahini sauce. But the tahini has a really unique flavor. It's like oniony and very powerful. Mmm. Whoa. This is like eating a vegan chicken nugget and that's just delicious. I think I'm gonna try it in this yogurt sauce. It's so light. Oh yeah. That is so good. That garlic yogurt sauce with this, like, come on. For us? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh my God, they're being so nice to us. They brought us pulled tea. It's regular tea with mint. It's simple, but it is so refreshing. Just regular tea, but the mint, it makes such a big difference. And they bring you sugar, you can put sugar in it. And the sugar is what turns it from like good to addicting. It's unbelievable, just a little bit of sugar. Wow. And the last time we had this was in Jordan. And when we were there, they just pulled the mint right out of their front yard and put it in the tea. I would obviously like a yard with mint in it one day. That would be great. This is really good tea. Great, thank you so much. Yeah, everyone has been so like ridiculously hospitable here. It's amazing. And we've been to a lot of hospitable countries. I'm very impressed. Behind me, there's a place called the Booze Bazaar. Kind of funny play on words. It's a liquor store, but all the windows are like completely covered up so you can't see any of the alcohol. So normally on our food tours, we like to try like a local beer or a specialty cocktail. But since we're in the UAE, there's not any specialty cocktails or local beers. I don't even think they brew any beer in the entire country, so we won't be trying any. And alcohol is really only served at hotels or like bars, like very specific bars, not like your everyday restaurant. Hello. Hi, thank you. Okay, we came to House of Tea. We're here for parattas. A parata is like a really flaky layered bread. Normally parata is served with like curry or shawarma, but we came to this place instead because they have unique fillings like chicken nuggets or chili. So we got Cheetos because Nate's favorite chips are Cheetos. And I thought it would be fun to try something unique. I literally had no idea what was gonna come with this, but it's literally just Cheetos, the parata, and then some sort of sauce. I literally love Cheetos, but the parata is definitely the star of this. It's so buttery and like so flaky. I honestly don't get the flavor of the sauce very much just because I think the parata and Cheetos take lead on that, but very, very crunchy. And the parata is delicious. Those Cheetos are spicy. I think they get less crunchy the longer you wait to eat it because they're sitting in the sauce. It's really good though. Yeah. I feel like that would be such a good snack to eat at like a ball game. What is this? Just spicy sauce? Dare I? I have no idea what the sauce is. But as I'm getting to the end of this, I feel like I'm getting to this bottom of the bag chips. I have all of the seasoning, so my mouth is on fire. It's not spicy. It's barbecue sauce. I'm really surprised. 
Our sandwich doesn't eat it, but I bet it would be really good with the chicken nuggets. When you're in the UAE, you have to try Karak tea, which is their version of chai tea. It's kind of like chai from India, but a little less of the really like powerful spices that they use. It smells like a baby's bottle. Okay, the main thing I think I'm tasting in this is the cardamom, which is like a really sweet spice. And then it's made with evaporated milk, not just like regular milk. It's good, I like it. It's like a good evening tea. All right, time for some savory food. Manakish Express. Kind of a tongue twister to me. Manakish Express. So it's like a little like Mexican spot in California where they make tacos and burritos. This is such a cool menu. It's like a newspaper. Oh, oh. Okay, can we get the small zatar in cheese? Is that how I say it? Yeah? <laughs> we'll just have one. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. We got cheese in Zatar Manakesh. It's flatbread with olive oil and dried herbs, which is the Zatar just baked into the bread. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Mmm. Tastes like olives. Like not just olive oil, but like olives. And it's kind of like a slightly underbaked white pizza. I love it. The olive oil and the herbs work really well together and I will eat anything with cheese on it. And lots of flour too. Like look at my fingers. Manakish is actually plural. So normally they say like the joke is you can never have just one. They're that good. I get it. 10.46 at night and 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Luckily the sun's not out. <laughs> the one thing I've come to realize is that we kind of just call all Middle Eastern food, Middle Eastern food or Arabic food, but there actually is like so many different cuisines within that. And I feel like it was kind of like maybe in the 80s or 70s, we just called it all Asian food Asian, even though there's like Thai food and Chinese food and Japanese food and Vietnamese food. Here there's Emirati food and Qatar food and Lebanese food. There's so many different cultures within that. And if you look up Emirati food on Google Maps in America, you're not gonna find anything. Middle Eastern, tons of places. Sometimes you don't taste how much salt is in things until you're like done eating for a while. And I feel like I could drink like four gallons of water right now. We had so much salt tonight. And we ordered Legats and Rigmug. Rigug. Rigug. Man, this is gonna be a tough. Look at my glasses. I can barely see. I have sticky hands. I'm so full. Get it? Full? Top five worldwide sports. This is by number of fans. Soccer. Cricket. Wow, hockey. Tennis, volleyball, table tennis, basketball, baseball, rugby, golf. 